That's the marketing community relations update. Megan? Yes. We do have um, some guests with us today that we have a presentation this evening for. Um, Mr. Clinton and Gina B. Lynn, we are going here to present you with a copy of the article you allowed us to feature CJB Industries um, in the Austin Daily Times um, to share with our community just the wonderful um, operation and businesses that we have in our community. And so we're going to present you that to you to hang up and Andrew's in a good picture. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One, two, three. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks. And we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This afternoon we met with our March um, Spotlight Electric Test Labs of Georgia and Stuart is out there with us today so he's doing double duty with us. Um, um, so that article will run on March 2029. 20, um, we also following our February board meeting that Friday following, we had the ribbon cutting for Fussell Tire, um, and so there was some media coverage um, and a press release that went out for that event, um, as well as we sponsored Geek Fest with Wiregrass Georgia Technical College at the Valdosta campus. They had, um, last week, they had over a thousand high school students from 10 different high schools on Wiregrass campus. They were talking about information systems and business education programs that Wiregrass offers, so we um, we're happy to sponsor that for the high school students. In marketing activities, we have, um, I have the final product of um, our business park profile, and brochures. Um, so from all the, the park aerials and renderings, we created each um, a business park profile. So these are the final production of those we're excited to have. Um, as well as we, um, have some intelligence components from GIS Planning, who does our Valdosta Lounge Prospector site. So there are some new intelligence components from the data and demographic side that they have created that we're now going to be able to plug into our actual website. So they presented that to me last week. Um, I'm working with that developer now on how we want the setup of it to look when they're on the, the website, so then we can just get the code and um, embed those into our site. So, um, that will, is in the works. Um, I sent to the printer today our final target industry design for the logistics industry, which is a marketing flyer that we will take with us to the Georgia Logistics Summit, talking about logistics and warehousing in Valdosta, Georgia. Um, Stan has couple, several, a couple handful of companies going with him um, at the end of the month to the Logistics Summit, so this is an marketing piece that will talk about our community and labor force and top employers, but then on the back, feature the logistics industry as a target. Um, so that was sent to the printer today for production. Um, we are also um, starting creating a business retention action team flyer for us to wor work with our existing industries, to leave with them on our visit with all the resources and information available to them um, for existing industry. And then we have also um, a new software program we are implementing, um, Salesforce.com, to track our visits, track projects. There are some metrics um, and information we will be able to, uh, reports we'll be able to grab from the, all the information and data we put into that. So we are in the process of implementing that. And we have a kickoff meeting tomorrow, Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow with our, the company we're working on that. So. That's the marketing and community relations update. And if I could, um, just to highlight a little bit more about the Georgia Logistics Summit. So that's something that we've done for the last three years with our logistics company. And we basically started off hosting a table and inviting them to go with us and letting that be part of our existing industry outreach. And through that, they have um, really enjoyed it and have asked for us to do a booth. So with that, we're start, we've designed a booth that we're going to use. Um, they're excited about going. They've really come up with the information and the marketing materials. They've really gotten involved, so it's been very good for them. 
And um, they've made lots of contacts and it's grown to help grow their business. So um, it's been a good thing for them and they've been excited about it. So just kind of morphed and kept going. So Megan and Stan have done a good job with that. <laughs> Yeah, and also I'll say last week um, there were there was a prospect visit here in from out of town, and um, there was the CEO and the business development manager for the for the corporation, and they had the new marketing materials of the of parks, and he specifically commented on how impressive that looked, and um, I wanted to pass that along to you that um, you know good to be able to uh, hand that out and to get such a feedback from somebody that we're trying to recruit. Here. Kudos to you. Um, project report, Stan, you want to give us a project report or anything?